Hey, fam. Thank y'all so much for being here with me. Tuning in and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is. So let's just tap in with spirit. Get to see for y'all real quick. Happy New Year to everyone who sees this. I'm so glad that we all made it. I hope everyone is enjoying their new year so far. And hopefully that enjoyment continues, y'all, on the drop. Yeah, something here could be about a tarot reader. It fell right out. Anywho, y'all, the messages are general. So take what resonates and leave with us. Anything you need to know about myself and my channel, look in that description box. And of course, any music that you guys may happen to hear, I do not own the rights to. All right, let's get into this. Let's see what's going on with y'all. Y'all got y'all. You know what? I'm so tired of people coming into the energy and just trying to express how much they don't like y'all. If they don't like y'all, why are they still around y'all? Why do they talk to y'all? Why do they watch y'all? For y'all that got social media, why are these people steady on your friends list? Like, I don't get it. A lot of y'all about to get the truth about something. It may hurt. But I feel like a lot of y'all asked for this. It's like you asked to be shown what was hidden from you. So let's get into this Holy Spirit. For those that asked what's hidden from them, what's going on? What's hidden from fam? Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, some truck. Y'all ass, and it's about to be exposed to y'all. Spirit is saying, hope you ready. Because this is going to be something big. Yeah, runner, track star. So this could, yeah, there go that tarot reader. It came out, y'all. Tarot reader. So some of y'all could read tarot her. I will never let you go. What? You intimidate me. I can love you better than she can. What in the hell is going on with a tarot reader out here? First of all, tarot reader, let's just get into this because this seems like to be like this is a message for whomever tarot reader is that watches my channel. There's a karmic energy here. I feel like this is an energy vampire. This person has been playing in your energy for a while now. They coming through telling you they not going to stop. You very much so intimidate this person. Something that you done said in one of your readings, it is the absolute truth, but it triggered the fuck out of this person. It's like, I don't know if you gave somebody a message and you said that they was going to the third party or they was leaving this certain person or what, but whatever it is, it really got this person triggered. And it's like, somebody here saying you a lie. Somebody like, nah, that's that's not what's going on. That's not what's happening. It's like somebody don't want to take accountability and it's like they pissed off at you because you calling them out. Somebody else here, it's like, I don't know if you have two different people coming for you if you are a tarot reader. But somebody here is like, you should choose them because they're better than the other option. I'm feeling like you should just use your intuition. Yeah, because this is a person that you dealt with before. And it's like, this person never wanted to change. But they also never, they never took accountability. They always blamed you for something. See, that's that narcissist shit I don't like. They always got a back door with, I did this because you did that type shit. That's the energy that's coming through her. And this person, wanna, they gonna come through and try to make you believe that they changed or something like that. They lying. They still in this dark karmic ass energy. It feel like whomever this is, they're in competition with you. And that's fucked up because this is like your, your partner or your ex-partner, something like that. It's somebody you have some type of romantic tie to. They're like in, in secret competition with you for whatever the fuck reason. Mm, that's crazy. Yeah, are we really over? Courage. Stalker alert. So y'all get ready because somebody here wants y'all to talk to them. Y'all not talking to this person. Y'all possibly done got them blocked or whatever. Or you just completely ignoring them. I'm seeing somebody walk past somebody like somebody don't even fucking exist. And it's like, what more do this person need? You done stop talking. You stop acknowledging their existence. 
You ain't coming around or nothing. Of course, y'all are over. But it's like they can't take you leaving them. Somebody feel like you leaving them for somebody else. See, that's that not wanting to take accountability shit. You're not leaving them for someone else. You're leaving them because of their actions here. Somebody never wanted to stand up and, and take action towards y'all relationship, really put in the work, take accountability for the shit that they did wrong, none of that. But now they got the nerve to sit back and stalk you on social media, around your house, and things like that. I want to know what this courage is about. It ain't my fault. You can't make this up. Somebody y'all dealing with ain't taking accountability for a damn thing that's going on with y'all. They blaming everything on you. You don't want to talk to them. It's your fault. They fuck up. It's your fault. The fuck is this? Yeah, a whole shit show. That's exactly what it is. It's a whole damn shit show. Somebody too old to be acting like this. I'm hearing the name Jonathan. Jamil and Timothy. Tyreek. We're not gonna take those cards, but I'll do them. Yeah, look, porn, sex addiction. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm hearing dope boy as well. So somebody here could sell drugs. Or they, you know, that's just like how they look. They got a lot of money. Somebody could even work a regular nine to five, but they like carry themselves like, you know, the big flashy clothes, car, shit like that. I'm hearing motorheads as well. So they got a lot of, ho they got a whole lot of thought niches around them because of the way that they look and the things that they own. See, you intimidate me. This person, you, this person can't get, you know, they can't buy you. Like, they can buy all these other ones out here. And it's like, they don't understand it. Like, what? Yeah, see, the other ones that they're dealing with, yeah, you throw them a little cash, they can see some. You, 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 got, you got way too much class for that. This person don't realize how intuitive you are. And they, they really trying to get shit over on you, which is crazy to me right now. Like, I'm baffled. Yeah, this person is not feeling like themselves because they shit. It feels to me like they love sick. They love sick as fuck. Some tarot reader out here, I, you have a stalker. But it's important for you to not give over your power to this person. Yeah, you're not feeling like yourself. Like your your intuition is not popping like it, it normally does. You're not interested in giving the messages, things like that. It's simply because you have somebody stalking your energy. Some of y'all actually have a, a real life 3D motherfucking stalker. You need to protect yourselves. Somebody's trying to figure out where you live. Something here is very significant about Nevada, Las Vegas, Nevada. You have a stalker. And it's, it feel like this person is building, building, building. First, it was online. They trolling your shit, right? Leaving all kind of weird-ass comments. Something here done moved up to email. It's about to progress and progress because someone here, they trying to find out an address. So y'all protect yourself, especially if you're a tarot reader who lives anywhere near Nevada. Las Vegas, Nevada. It's coming through clear. Hmm. Let's get some more on this. What's this? Yeah, regrets. Somebody here, I'm telling you, they regret everything that they did to you or, you know, the lack of action and work that they put in. They regret that shit now because they know that they can't get it back. They can't get you back. They can't get the time back. They can't get the opportunity back. So now it's just like they sit back. Somebody is drinking a lot. Somebody is drinking and smoking a lot. To deal with whatever this situation is, fam. They, it's this is crazy. Yeah, somebody here now. They want to come through and tell you the truth. I'm telling you, tarot reader, you gave a message that was the absolute truth. Somebody don't like it because it hurt them. It hurts. But I'm, this person cannot stop watching you. Y'all be careful out here. Yeah, but y'all have y'all a very. I heard a. I heard a peep peep. Beep, 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 beep. I don't know what that's about. But um, 
Somebody, it's a timer going off. Something, I'm telling you, it's a timer. Tick tock, tick tock. Hmm. Holy Spirit. Y'all got 10, 11 on the clock. So that's what I'm saying. Something is progressing. Somebody here is progressing. You can't make it up. Ten of Swords. Somebody here is a fire sign. You could be a fire sign to roll reader. But somebody here, it's like they want to ruin you. They want to hurt you. Somebody here wants you to shut up. They want you to stop. So I don't know how many people this reaches, but there is definitely a tarot reader in Las Vegas, Nevada, who needs to step up their protection. 3D, 5D, everything. Why is my cards on this side in the reverse? What is going on here? How, now y'all just saw me do this like how do all of these cards end up in the damn reverse that's what i'm saying somebody here is trying to really they trying to turn your world upside down i don't know i hope this reach whomever this this tarot reader is because even i mean people you know what pisses me off y'all when something happens to one of us and people be like you should have saw that coming i thought you would have saw that coming bitch we are not motherfucking psychics well some of us are but some of us are not we don't see shit like, I don't know how to explain it. But damn, we can't see everything. So y'all quit that. Anywho, let's get into this. Yeah, look, there's competition going on here. Ace of Pentacles. The number 15 is significant. What is the Ace of Pentacles? Somebody here got a new opportunity and it puts some, it pissed somebody off because they weren't offered the same thing. Or either this is like somebody won a contest. I don't know what this is. Somebody was chosen over somebody else. Yeah, because their intuition is a lot better. Like, Spirit actually like really speaks to this person. This person don't just sit down and read cards. Spirit actually sit back and talk to this person. Whomever this person is, they don't even need cards to give messages. So it's like they 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 winning. You winning to roll reader, whomever you are. High priestess. She who knows, he who knows. So this could be even a male to roll reader. Yeah, like you happy. Everything. Somebody wanna ruin your happiness. Like this is crazy. I wanna know. I gotta get into this. You bring it in. Somebody here makes a lot of money reading tarot. They make a lot of money. Somebody here jealous they don't like that because they can't do what you do. They want to do it. Somebody feel like they can do it better than you. But they're not being, they're not as successful as you are. And it's really got this person in their feelings. Holy Spirit. Give me more on this stalker. Give me more on this stalker, please. Who's this stalker? Can you tell us more. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles came out. Somebody, it's like your blessings put the weight of the, the world on this person's shoulders. Somebody here blames y'all for something that's not going right in their life. Maybe it's their money. Yeah, worry. Somebody here is worried about money. This stalker, y'all. Somebody makes a lot of money, y'all. Watch y'all homes, y'all cars, everything. Because somebody here, they... Look, Aries. And then happiness. Somebody knows that you have not one fucking worry in the world when it comes to finances. I don't, y'all, like this video and possibly share it because there's a tarot reader here whose energy is coming through my, my reading very, very clearly and very strong. Somebody around you wants to harm you. You could be an Aries here. You have no worries in the world. Nevada, Las Vegas, Nevada is prevalent here. You're very happy. You, your family happy. You take care of them. You don't give a fuck what nobody got to say. You going to speak your mind with this courage. And that's exactly what you did. And now you got somebody in their feelings. Yeah, and that's the truth. You spoke the truth here. It pissed somebody off. This person looking for you. They trying to find your address. Holy Spirit. Somebody here tried to do something to make your, your finances dwindle. Yeah, it could be a Leo here as well. Aries, Leo. There's a fire sign here. Virgo.
Yeah, you, I'm like happiness twice. You, to, you are somebody here got a lot of money. Somebody done got a current in the world. Your family good. Look, I somebody is good, good. Tarot reader. I, I hope to be on your level one day, whomever you are. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, just up your protection, whomever you are. Yeah. And then we got the queen of this and we got the princess of this. So this could be a mother and a daughter. I don't know if this is like a team that reads Tarot or this is like... See, this is what I'm, I'm feeling like somebody don't have a fucking current in the world, girl. Like, seriously. Somebody don't have a current in the world. The mother is taking care of the sisters, the nieces, the nephews, the children. Everybody's taking care of. All people got to do is sit back and live their life. Somebody don't like that. It's like somebody's mother, father, is very, very much so gifted. This is like something that generation to generation... Yeah, y'all, watch y'all surroundings, seriously. Yeah, it's a mother and daughter team here. Yeah, then we got the two of cups. Love. Hmm, where is this going? Oh, my God. I know damn well. The devil. Oh, my God. So... Somebody done called somebody out about having an incestuous relationship. That's what the hell is going on here. There's a tarot reader who called somebody out about having an incestuous relationship. I don't know if you had, if somebody having an a, a ancestral relationship with their mama or their daddy, somebody in their family, and they done produce children. I don't know what's going on. I do not even want to. All I know is that a tarot reader done, and then the messed up part about it is somebody said, I'm not going to say that. But their spirit said, say it. And so they said it. And that's what triggered somebody. Because it's like, wasn't nobody supposed to know this. But somebody now, they can't stop following you. They can't stop listening to you because they want to know what else it is you know about their life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is something about somebody having sex with somebody in their family. A seducer, ace of cups. Yeah. This is craziness. Mm -hmm. Ooh, child. The things to row readers have to go through. Cause people be trying to hide secrets and maybe and then you know what? I, you know, even though a lot of people don't watch my channel, I don't get a lot of views or whatever. Mm. But hey, it is what it is. But you know what? The thing is, we doing what we kind of do. We're not here to trigger nobody. We're not trying to judge you or nothing like that. Make fun of your situation. That's not what we here for. At least that's not what I'm here for. The thing is, shit, just take the messages. You watching. So just take the messages how they are. It's not like we peeping through your window. We don't, you know... Catch your account or nothing like that. No, we haven't done that. Somebody here got called out for like um uh liking a liking kids or you know sleeping with a younger person in their family, something like that. This person don't like your ass talking about it. They want you to stop. Somebody is looking for you. They trying to find your address. They want to come to your home. This person has very negative energy, very much so. It could be a Capricorn. You are them. But somebody here is watching. They're watching. Water sign as well. Mm. Somebody else here, it's like, y'all start paying attention. Y'all watching, so listen and pay attention. Somebody here, somebody is watching somebody's kids. Y'all be mindful of who y'all let babysit y'all kids and shit. Because somebody here is being extra mean or cruel or abusing somebody's children. Check on your kids and check the people who you got around your kids. Because some people ain't going to like your kids simply because of who the fuck you are. So that's something else that y'all need to watch out for. Look at this cruelty call. Y'all see that baby? Somebody here could even be sneaking into a child's room while they sleeping. You see what I'm saying? This tarot reader done called this shit out. 
So tarot reader, if that's you, then you really, really, it's like this person tried to block out whatever happened to them. Could be a Leo. They tried to block it out, keep it pushing. They didn't want nobody to find out about this. You done told the whole damn world. And now they feel like you uh, you pointing the finger at them. They feel like now you done, you know, so everybody know. So this person want to confront you. Lord, I give up. Anyway, now let's talk about this person that want to come back towards y'all. That don't mean y'all no damn good. Yeah, let's get into them. Ooh, Tarot Rita. Yeah, somebody here, it's like, I don't know if somebody's been receiving, like, death threats or something. Somebody been, now, this ain't even just for a tarot reader. Somebody here has been receiving death threats that they've been trying to downplay. Somebody needs to take this shit very serious because somebody just sitting back like, oh, they not going to do shit. I got this under control. No, somebody here, somebody else, they could have an addiction. And this it's like, be careful because somebody is stalking that has a really bad addiction. I don't know what this addiction is to. If it's to sex, porn, money, drugs. I'm feeling like somebody here is on drugs. We saw that 10 of swords. It looked like somebody shooting up or doing cocaine or something like that. Somebody could be drunk. They drink a lot. Like, look, they watch porn too much. Somebody watching too much to roll. It's just like a lot of too much going on out here. It's too much of too much. Holy Spirit, give me more on this person. Why do, why does fam intimidate this person? We got the world card, judgment, and then the ace of pentacles. Didn't I say, because they cannot buy your ass. It's usually what they say goes. They way or the highway. Yeah, somebody here could be really young, like 20 years old. Or, you know, you met this person 2020, something like that. 22, I'm 2022. I'm not sure. But I do know that this person feel like they, you should be like everybody else. And they should be able to buy you what they say go. All that other kind of shit. Y'all dealing with a fix on her. They don't like change. Mm -mm. Somebody here, you was actually helping somebody out financially. And it feel like maybe you found something out and you stopped. So believe it or not, you've always intimidated this person for one reason or another. You're very free spirited. You speak your mind. That intimidates this person. This person is they don't they usually hang around yes people. Everybody's gonna agree with everything they say. That's not you. Y'all also dealing with somebody who would do anything for money. Some of y'all dealing with people that'll do anything for money. But yeah, now that you done like left this shit alone, you're good with it. You done got yourself closure. You're moving on. Now this person is doing like they're, they're reevaluating their actions. They're reevaluating their self. What do I want my life to be in five years looking ass? Yeah, but some of y'all are finna get like a financial new beginning as well. Yeah. And then we got the four, four of swords. And then the hierophant. So now this person is contemplating, I'm feeling like, about uh, giving you this offer, this commitment, or something like that. Or this is somebody that y'all married to that you asked for a divorce from. Yeah, y'all could have moved away from this person, like literally got the kids and moved away. Now this person just like, I want another chance. Somebody here, finna, I'm telling you, they finna come through, try to give you some money to try to like smooth everything over. Get back in good with you. Get back in your good graces and shit like that. Somebody else here, they want to pick up the kids, but they ain't did. They haven't pro uh, provided any financial assistance for these kids in a while. I feel like y'all are mourning like this relationship, like it's dead to you, like seriously. But now it's like you're not worried. This person can't get it off their mind. Especially if you got kids with this person. They regret it. They regret not asking you to marry them. They regret uh having Shamika in their car. They regret, you know, taking her kids out to McDonald's and not doing nothing for you and yours. Yeah, we got the magician. Now, at the number one, they want to start all over. Yeah, somebody here is very much so self-employed, I'm telling you. First, they got a lot of money, but they very much so immature. Aries energy coming through again. Mm. This person is too immature 
and too self-absorbed to even entertain a relationship like a real one. And we got the King of Swords, and then we got the Six of Wands. Yeah, I was going to say Aries. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. Yeah, and we got the Queen of Wands. This person, it's like they were running from you at one time. You feel like they finna come running back to you. Somebody else here finna pay you for a reading. Yeah, because they just know. It's like somebody finna give a reading that's gonna be so spot on that it's gonna be like shared or, you know, like people gonna be talking about like word of mouth. Whoever you get this reading to, they gonna be like, damn, have y'all heard of such and such? Because such and such on point. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, and it's like that could be possibly what intimidates this other person. So this could be all tying in together. It's like somebody trying to do the same thing y'all doing. It's not working out for them. You're getting, you're about to get all this recognition and shit like that for, you know, your intuition, your gifts, everything. This person, they don't. Somebody heard their intuition is not as popping as yours. Their gifts are not as advanced as yours, so they can't do what you do. But yet, they want the recognition. They want to be successful. This person right here, they finna do something real. It feel like real stupid. So I heard move in on your territory. So y'all, I'm telling you, if you got a friend that just be like, um, somebody here, they, they say something about your gifts all the time. Don't be surprised if you look up one day and they done made a, a spiritual post or they done started like a, a, re, a channel or something like that. This person is trying to do exactly what it is that you do. If this is a love situation, baby, this person, they coming back. They don't give a damn. They coming back. They want this brand new opportunity with you. They've been manifesting this. Some of y'all manifestations are coming through as well. Yeah, some of y'all need to rest, meditate, get your energy back on track here. Yeah, this person, they coming to apologize. Yeah, Gemini energy. Lovers. Yeah, this person is addicted to you sexually as well, damn. Very much so. Yeah, Capricorn energy, you can't make this up. <laughs> this person is addicted to you sexually. Obsessed. Somebody is, this tarot reader, this person, somebody here is obsessed with watching your channel. It's like you have a child here that watches your channel. I don't know what is going on. Why is this child watching tarot? Cancer energy, Libra, Justice card. Mm, this this child is trying to balance something out within themselves, like move past something. It could be this um this molestation or whatever it was we picked up in in the in the beginning. But this child is watching you. Yeah, somebody here want to move forward with you and balance something out. But I feel like that's what you're interested in doing on your own. You just want to move forward and uh you know get your balance right because you don't learn your lesson in whatever this is. Yeah. Wish is being fulfilled, standing your ground and walking away. Exactly. That's going to make somebody very much so upset. Some of y'all, it's like Tarot Reader, you're getting like all this negative shit on your channel. Your shit is being reported. It's like comments and everything. Leave that shit out because they just really trying to get under your skin. Yeah, somebody trying to put you in your head. This is like three people gang stalking your shit. So it's like they take turns. Somebody here trying to knock you off your game, throw you off your throne. They can really just keep it pushing, though. Because they don't realize whomever they are, you are. They don't realize who they dealing with. You are blessed and highly favored here. Yeah, tower. It's going to all blow up in their face. I see them starting to fight amongst each other. Some of them, you finna block from your channel. And this, yeah, look. Three of Pentacles. This is a free room. Somebody, somebody here finna get blocked. I, I see like you figuring out who these people are and instead of going back at them, you just going to block them. You just going to keep it pushing. And that's really going to throw them out that game because they ain't going to be able to see shit that you're doing. So how they supposed to throw at you and they don't know what you're doing? That's the whole point, bitch. Yeah, everything that they was doing, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to, they're going to have to stop. But it's going to be that one person that want to keep going. Ain't nobody going to be on board with it. Ain't nobody going to be on board with it because now them other two going to realize you the actual motherfucking chosen one. You the chosen one. Nothing that they did, it's all going back to them. It's returning to them. Yeah, no, nah, Sagittarius energy. You, you, that, you the one. 
I know we got all fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got Capricorn, Libra. Yeah, you pissing these people off because you keep going. You keep going. You, don't, you ain't letting none of this stop you. Your money keep growing. Some of y'all, somebody tried to put like a fertility spell on you. It ain't going to work because you finna find out you are pregnant. Somebody really tried to keep you from having a baby. It's not finna work because somebody here is finna have a baby. Boy, these people crazy. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Some of this y'all masculine. Some of this is done by a karmic because she wants your masculine. But I feel like this got a lot to do with your masculine because y'all not on the same page here. This could be the person you having a baby by. This person was supposed to be your security blanket and I feel like they just completely snaked your ass. And then they got the nerve to be mad because you sitting over here, you balancing your shit out. You really ain't got time for that. You ignoring their asses. All you worried about is taking care of your kids, you know, providing for your family. This shit is blowing up in their face, baby. Somebody really feel like you was going to need them and you don't. And it's hurting them bad. And they trying to hide it. But I'm feeling like everybody around them can see what the fuck it is they going through. This is absolutely crazy. Yeah, because this person right here, all they do is sit up and think about you, daydream, and stay up all night. You got this person, person anxious. This person want to rush back in towards you, right? But instead of making a move, all they do is sit back and daydream. They still got their options open, y'all. So many people are in their head because, damn, why did I why did I do this to her? Or why did I do this to him? Yeah, player energy. Why did I do this? Why did I do this? And you know what? Another thing before we leave, somebody here might be trying to message y'all about this person, this masculine. Man, fuck them people. Because, see, what I know for sure and two for certain, this person watched your social media. They saw everything that you went through with this masculine and they still took their raggedy ass over there to deal with him. So this non of swords that they going through now, confusion and all that, let them have it because they brought this shit on themselves. They knew that this masculine was a player. They did. They got themselves into this because what? He talked a good fucking game and he got a lot of money. He talked a good game and he got a lot of money. They did this shit to themselves. I wouldn't give these people no more advice. None. Because it ain't like shit. Look. Seven of swords. Two of swords. Star card. It don't matter what nobody say to this person about this masculine. Because this person is steady going to let this masculine come back over and over and over again. Even if he is refusing to make a solid decision. So yeah, y'all got somebody want to come back to a child. They got somebody still attached to them. And it's just a whole big shit show. But for real, Tarot Reader, if you catch this, Las Vegas, Nevada is very significant. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Libra. Um, shit, who else is out here? Virgo, I do believe. Not Virgo, but hell, I said it. Gemini. It's just like, watch yourself. Pisces. Watch yourself. Because somebody here is going to do way too motherfucking much. Yeah, y'all. So that's been the that's the energy. That's been the message. If it resonated, hit that like button for me. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell, my loves. Come in. Interact with your girl. Let's exchange energy. All that good stuff. Y'all, we're going to get back up. Y'all enjoy your day.